What's up and welcome to the Station Bakery. Today we're going to be making these cute, fun candy bars. I am starting off with these cute, brightly colored candy melts. I pour the candy melts out onto a piece of parchment paper and then I spread them out. It's not necessary, but something inside of me just wouldn't let me chop them up all mixed up. Now, I will say that there is a method to the madness for me. So I am chopping these up in a specific way. Instead of just going in and just chop, chop, chopping and getting all kinds of different shapes and shards, I'm specifically chopping it to try to get rectangular or trapezoidal shapes. This is the key to helping me create the look that I'm going for. Here is the mold that I'm using to make these bars. It came in a pack of six and I'm just going to fill this up with some white chocolate. Now the molds don't really have a significance in the design or textures of them because as you'll see the design and texture isn't really going to matter with what I'm creating. What does matter though is making sure that you fill up this mold completely with the chocolate. That is the best way to ensure that you get a nice, flat, even bar of chocolate. Before the bar is set, I'm going in and sprinkling some of my colored shards all over the bar. There really isn't a rhyme or reason to when I'm doing this, except for just trying to mix up the colors to get an even disbursement of each color. Oh, and also I'm trying my best to focus on the larger shards first. Once I had a few pieces in place, I took a knife, but you can use any pointy object, and I'm just pushing in those shards into the chocolate to try to get it as even and level with the white chocolate as possible. I am also trying to focus on making sure that there are flat sides that are facing up. This is what's going to help give it the look that I'm going for. Shaking the chocolate helps to evenly distribute the white chocolate throughout the bar, causing it to be a smoother and flatter finish with the shards. And then I just go in and repeat the process all over again. Once all the pieces are in place and it has the look that you like, give it one last final shake and check over, and then let it set by leaving it out or popping it into the refrigerator or freezer for just a second. Once set, I began to remove the chocolate from the mold by first pulling away the edges and the sides of the mold away from the chocolate. This is very important and will prevent you from accidentally breaking your chocolate pieces. And this is what the bar looks coming out of the mold. So really this is like a two for one special because you have this cute textured side and then you also have the other side that we created. You can leave the bar like this or you can jazz it up a little bit. I melted down some of the same pink candy melts that I used in the bar and I'm just taking that and I'm going to drizzle some lines just across the middle. Very simple and easy to do. And then I'm topping it off with a variety of sprinkles. This part is always fun and you can really let your creativity shine through. You can keep it simple and minimal or go all out. I didn't want to go all out with this design because I didn't want to take away from the textured background that I created. So these sprinkles were just the perfect touch. To package this candy bar, I'm simply using some saran wrap. I am laying it out super flat and smooth just to prevent any lines and wrinkles from showing up on the front side and then folding it over and letting it stick to itself. Top it off with a sticker and we're good to go. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and drop a kind comment in the comments below. It really means a lot to me. See you in the next one. Peace.